And now we're going to have to climb this tree, aren't we? Yes, we are. At least they gave us some interesting music for our climb. Alright. Oops, yeah. I'm going to do that a little fast. There's a little door there. Pull the lever. Open the door. Why not? Go in here. And if we... Uh, went the wrong way. There's a treasure over here. Phoenix down. Yay. Go up here. And up here we have a few treasures, a lot of them hidden. That one is half hidden. Some magician shoes. Those are nice. Uh, branch is obscuring it right here. I'm not even sure if you can see it behind the branch. We go up here and we get another ice staff. Cool. And was there one more? Or am I thinking of a different spot? I must be thinking of a different spot. Alright, at this point we can go up here. New fight? New enemy? Do I get to show something off? Do I get to learn some blue magic today? I do! Hopefully. As long as I don't screw this up. This is the zoo. This guy has a decent amount of life. He is also weak being a wind type enemy or a flying type enemy. He is weak to wind, but he's also weak to water and ice, as with most of the enemies in here. Um, fish. Nah, I don't want to risk it. Him being one-shotted, so I'm just going to use normal Blizzra. Blizzard. Hopefully I don't kill him with that. I don't think I will. Yeah, I probably would have killed him with the other one. He's got about 1150 HP. And I do want to eat him. He just ate me! Son of a bitch! I forgot he could do that. And... Yeah. Ow. Oh, wow. That didn't hurt, actually. So let's hit him again. 800. I don't think that's enough. Can I do a small amount of damage with anything? Um. Hmm. Let's see. He's weak against water. I hope that doesn't kill him. Do I have anything else I can do decent? Small amount of damage? Uh, no, you're a full life. Ah, oh, I could show off Frog Drop. Why not? I'll show off Frog Drop, hopefully that... No, don't. Don't swallow Kina. Don't swallow Kina. Jesus Christ, I forgot he did this. Huh, that's weird. Oh. Oh! I buggered that up. Oh, well, I guess I'm not learning it this time. I'll have to show it off again later. That was fun. Stupid guy. Um, I did want to explain one more choice I made here. Um, this reduces earth damage. You think that would be good here, but I don't think it really matters. Most enemies use um, fire here more than they use earth elemental attacks, but it's also her best piece of equipment. So just note that it does have that protection on there. And up here we can pick up another. Now we're at the point of no return. Once you do this, right here, you put your hand in the hole, you will cut off your way out. And you won't be able to get back out for quite a while. So make sure you know what you're doing, make sure you brought the nut back, make sure you've gone back to the Q's Marsh to make sure that there aren't any extras frogs laying around. Make sure to leave at least one male and a female alive, and the golden one if he's there usually seems to be there and yeah so at this point we put our hand in the hole and we let some sand loose and some new enemies cool dragonflies these guys we can also learn a new white or blue magic spell from these guys are also weak to wind and ice. Unfortunately, that means I can't make use of Aqua Breath in this fight. But Vivi should be able to multi-target with Blizzra. And actually, that's probably going to kill them. They've got about 350 life. This will probably one-shot them all. Yep, by a long shot. Oh well. 
Again, I've mucked up another battle. Let's see. Hopefully I can get these uh, blue magic spells before uh, I get my way to the top. That'd be really helpful. All right. But now that we've done that, we'll go down here. Oh, did I not get this? What's up here again? Yeah. See, this basically sends you back to the last area you're at. And another new enemy, the Sand Golem. This guy actually has two parts, the little red core and the body itself. If you attack the core, it will counterattack. But, if you attack the core with ice, you, depending on how powerful the spell is, and if you've got anything to boost it, you might be able to one-shot him. I don't have enough damage, unfortunately. So, yeah, so now he's going to counter, and since BB's in the back row, it doesn't hurt very much, and I've got to steal. But after that, yeah, he uses a Sandstorm ability here. I think this has a chance of inflicting Trouble, and luckily it didn't, because Trouble's annoying, and I forgot to steal. But yeah, there are two ways of taking that guy out. You can attack the body and then he'll kind of fold like that and then you can attack the core. Normally you can't attack the core with anything other than ice spells anyway. But, it, you know, he's weak to ice, all parts of him. Um, I learned a new ability. What did I learn? Oh, no. What did I learn? What did I learn? Uh, I think it was body temp. Okay, then I'm good. At this point, ah, no. All right, I think this line of sand blocks off access to that other chest. There are two chests up in the top right corner, but we can't get them yet. We actually have to go all the way through this entire area first. And there's nothing over there. Oh, what am I doing? I was supposed to be up there. Anyway, yeah, that blocks up the path out. All right, let's try this guy again here. Um, oh, crap, he inflicts Berserk. I forgot about that. you got to be careful on these guys. They inflict Berserk, and I think Quinnick can one-shot them. So let's use a Thunder Spell. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't know if it will or not. Let's wait for... Oh, look at that. Just shy of what I need. Hopefully Quinn can eat that one and then I can learn my new ability. Oh, BB would have done a perfect amount of damage too. Look at that. Come on, Queen it, eat the guy. And we learn Matcher Magic. Yay, it doesn't matter. And Frey is gonna finish this guy off. And I'm gonna fast forward because animations take a long time in this game. And I learned some new abilities. Does that make me have to change anything? I think those are both weapons. Uh, still working on Thundra. Nothing better. Okay, good. Yeah, so anyway, this allows us access into this area here. And once we're in here, there's a treasure chest over here containing a needle fork, which we don't need anymore. But we might need it for synthesis later. Go over here, get a tent. We go across this guy. Oops. Talk to this Moogle. Oops. And you can give him a letter. This is the, all the way from the one in uh, Burmesia. Hmm. They're all wearing pointy hats. Yeah, we already know what happened. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. There's Kuponut. And if you talk to him, he won't give you anything now. But there will be an option later, a very short window, where we can pick up a letter from that guy. Okay, there we go. And we can move on for now. Up here, you want to go to the left. Not that far left. And pick up this treasure here. Flame Staff. You can always use more of those. They're useful in synthesizing at some point, I believe. And up here... We come to a bridge, and a very uneventful bridge. This is a strange room. Here is a treasure chest, and if we continue to walk down this way, 
it just loops around. And if you can kind of see, there's a treasure chest right under that trunk in the middle of the screen containing desert boots. And in here, we have a mithril vest. And... Ah! The final new enemy! These are carrion worms. These guys are weak to water and wind. And they have about 260 life. Which means, oh god, I don't know who can do small enough damage to not kill these guys in one shot. I have to eat these guys for a new um, white magic, or blue magic build, jeez. 66, that's not going to be enough. Um, let's see here. Well, I'm going to throw Ray's Wind on because it's probably going to take me a little while. I don't think BB can, uh, well, I can use in on this guy and see if I can take him down a little faster. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of ways of dealing a large, sm really small amount of damage. I guess I could use fire because I think these guys are kind of strong against fire, but uh, I've already used up my turn, so. <laughs> and it's been a one-shot somebody, that's helpful. And my full steal. And this guy uses trouble juice. This is not fun. Now, BB, do I risk using fire at this point? No, I think I'm just going to attack again. 72, let's try that. It should be close to 200, 180 damage or so. Ah, perfect, I learned auto life. Exactly what I wanted. And in order to cure that trouble status, Auto life ability or the auto life spell is not particularly useful. However, the auto life ability that you learn later on is quite useful. Anointments cure trouble, by the way, so we can cure that. And at this point, I'm going to feed Vivi and Ether. And is there one more item in here? There might be one more. Just give me one second. I'll double check. Okay. Good. I'm glad I checked that out because I forgot to come in here. If you run straight back in the middle, you get an item here. I would have figured this out as soon as I went the other way and realized I missed a chest, but oh well. And we go over here, and if you see on the left there, the sand is moving, so we couldn't get up there before. So if we pull this lever, and I don't know why that would be there, but it stops the uh, sand flow, and now we can go get that treasure chest, which we will want to do. And there we go. Now we can finally move over this way and on with the area. And pick up a potion. Oh. Yeah, once you've maxed out your supply of potions, you won't be able to pick them up anymore. I told you you weren't going to run out of potions. So go waste them on whenever the hell you feel like it. it they're At this point, you could almost sell them all off and not use them again. I don't really care. You could. And it doesn't give you a lot of money. That was an elixir. Elixirs are nice. And go up here. And oh, this room. Why did it have to be this room? You have to keep mashing the X button here. Ooh. Alright, basically, let's kind of inch our way through here. Pick up this one. The only way to get that other one, well, there's two ways. One, you wait till a later event and then these things will stop. The other one, if you're OCD and you have to do it now, basically, you have to, I think you hold the directional button and nope. Ah, you can sneak by there if you do it properly. That works too. But you also can have the, if you push the button at the right time, you can actually have the, uh, you can jump right out into the little hole there and pick it up that way. But if you get lucky enough, you can kind of sneak by. No, I want to do that here too. If you fall all the way in, you get stuck in a battle that you don't really want to be stuck in. I think it's just an enemy that you run into normally. But at this point, I'm just going to run back and forth until I run into this guy. Oh, look at that, didn't have to cut. That's always fun. Because we're going to go for take two. Uh-oh, counter. Crap, eat, 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 eat. Jesus Christ today. Trying to kill everybody? Perfect. 
White Wind. This is the most useful ability you can get here. And White Wind works very similar to the way it works in every other Final Fantasy game. It's a healing spell. Alright, let's see here. Let's go into the menu. We can look at some of these abilities we've been learning for... Oops. For Quinna. Alright, we learn Matra Magic. Reduces the target's HP to 1. I don't think this has a very high um, hit chance. And I've never really made any use of it, so... Uh, what else we got? White Wind restores HP of all party members. I believe it's equal to Quinna's current HP. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's her current, or his current HP. Ugh, gender confusion. But it's the current HP, and it'll restore that amount of HP to all your party members. That's useful. Uh, auto life, basically you cast it, and someone will be revived to 1 HP once they die. So that's very useful to have. It becomes more useful when you get an ability in here that does the same thing. And yeah, so we definitely want to wait for that. Uh, do I need to put anything else on here? No, no, and no. Okay, I think I've learned everything I needed to learn, so now we can continue on. Show it off all the enemies. Get the treasure chest that's under here. Gasol greens kind of pointless. Oh well. And we can climb up here and this will enter the town. Uh, was there one item here or is that just... no, that's just for the ladder. At this point, we reach the Clara settlement. And here we get lots of fun with ATEs. I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but here we go through some introductions, some how they were expecting us. And that's how. The king has survived and he is safe and sound here in Clara. At once, my lady. I shall go to see the king. Okay. Time to rest. Okay. Hmm. Allow me to be your guide. Nope. I don't need a guide. I know where I'm going. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. Okay. Yes, you're gonna go look for food. And I have to go figure out the right order for the ATs in order to get the items in this area. So I will go double check that and I'll be right back. <laughs> 